Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. It was a full house this week on the station, and one of the cast members is even a twin. Nine crew members from five different countries packed the orbital laboratory this week, working fast and furious on a range of different projects, including in-depth research on muscle loss, readying small satellites to be deployed, conducting Earth observations, and even driving rovers on Earth from a control panel in space. But it's back home on Friday, September 11th for the visiting crew members Andreas Mogensen and Idine Abatov, along with cosmonaut Gennady Padalka, who's now spent a total of 879 days in space, more than any other human in history. And Scott Kelly, who is just about midway through his year-long mission, took the reins as commander of the International Space Station. Kelly took command back on September 5th and will keep the job until he comes home in March of 2016. I'm ready to relinquish command to Scott Kelly. And I assume command of the uh, International Space Station, a, uh, a great ship and one that uh, not only serves us very well, but serves our uh, various countries well. This week, we have a Twitter question from Mariana, who wants to know why it sometimes only takes a few hours as opposed to days for crews to reach the station. Well, it's all about being in the right place at the right time. In order for a Soyuz to be able to complete its trip in only four Earth orbits, the station has to be at just the right altitude at the time of liftoff. For the most recent launch, the station was a bit higher than needed. Due to solar weather conditions, the atmosphere wasn't thick enough to cause sufficient drag to lower the station's altitude to the expected range. So that spacecraft took the longer 34-orbit, two-day rendezvous route. Make sure to keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.